In this uh, part, I will be covering a little bit more advanced topics of scripting itself, so things like uh, parameters and correlation and think time. Um, a good start probably is going again through the documentation and on the Gatling website called reference documentation and there is an advanced tutorial which covers uh, a lot of the things that I'm going through now. Um, um, I think the first thing I will cover is uh, checks. So basically checks are needed for two things. Um, checks can be used for validating the content of your uh, request or response um, either on a HTTP level or the actual content of the document but it can also be used to <coughs> storing or extracting data from your documents to be used later. So as an example here for example uh, this check um, will check that there's a link on the page containing um, uh, this this uh, a parameter that has been defined earlier. <clears throat> I'll get get explain this a bit in a, in a little bit more in detail in a minute. But <clears throat> it will it will check that there is that link, <clears throat> and it will then save the a reference of that uh, link as a computer URL. So this again is from the exam example documentation, um, and then it later on uses that URL. Uh, so basically. Uh, this is correlation. It's pulling a data from your document and reusing it later. So for example for dynamic user IDs or dynamic product codes or things like that you, you probably need to do this instead of using uh, hard-coded values. Um, so the parameters are <clears throat> very similar to templating in, in Java or, or LoadRunner if you used that uh, before. This is the syntax is basically dollar and curly braces and your Parameter value. So um, let's look at the our <coughs> excuse me. Let's let's look at our script again. Um, I renamed it to um, recorded simulation whitelist. Oh, not that one. And so what I would like to do is, as we in previously we created a, um, a link, we created a request for the BBC. Uh, news news page. What I want to do is capture one of the documents, one of the links of the the, uh, the the landing page, and click that. So if I now jump into Chrome, and the way we do it is, for example, um, if if this is your page, and say we want to uh, pick this document and 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 test that as well. So. Um, if we look at the content, it's basically that the link itself is, is here. Right, so um, there's a couple of ways of doing this. We could use a regular expression um, or you could use a CSS selector. I'm using a CSS selector for this. Basically what we will doing here is select uh, a link uh, on Anchor with a class title-link. And I believe that's the very first one I looked at earlier. So if we use Chrome again, okay, we can use this, um, um, the, the Chrome selectors to, to identify what, it, what is the exact element we want. So let me just check. That seems to be the correct one. Um, so basically what, it, what the selector here is, uh, select any element with a class title dash link. Well, let's select the first element of it and get the reference for it. Um, if we look at the whole list of things, we can just ensure that we're picking up the, the, the right document. So yeah, so that, that particular uh, request, that, that particular selector will select the very first item, very first link from the main page. Um, and how we actually turn it into, <clears throat> into a, um, a Gatling request, well, let's go through that. So. First of all, what we need to do is introduce a, uh, uh, a check for this uh, request. But first of all, actually, let's uh, remove something. Let's remove the, um, the headers altogether. We know we use, these headers don't make really sense in our in the world because these are, look more like the, the, 
they are set by uh, perhaps the proxy. We don't really care for those. And let's just get rid of that altogether and introduce that last brace. Sorry, last. Yep, correct there. Now, so the way the checks work. Okay, so let's add a check after the get. So we're saying we're getting the the slash news, and we want to add a check. And let's just do a bit of a cheat here. We're doing a check, and then CSS check. And we know it's an anchor. And the class of it is, where is my Chrome? The class of it is title. Title dash link. And we want the first element. What we also want to do is pick the reference of that. Let's close that. Okay, so that that should hopefully um, check the very first link in the page for now. We're not storing it yet, so let's just check that. We can find that. Okay. Um, let's run it. List number two. Okay, I don't see any errors. Uh, we need to actually see the log, log files, I think, to, to, to see whether that is successfully parsed. But what we can do is we can uh, we can make it fail. So just add one, two, three here. So I presume there's not going to be class called that. Let's run it again. And whitelist. Right, okay, so we straight away got an error saying that I cannot find um, uh, a link with class title dash link one two three uh, or first element of that array and that means that is now failed that particular request so if we look at the report now we should we should get um, only errors or well, well, there's only one request so we should get an error and, and that's exactly what happened. So we got a, um, a failure, the failure being could not find this CSS selector. Right, so that way uh, you can use the CSS um, selectors, you can use the regular expressions. Uh, it's a good idea to look, look at through the um, uh, documentation and the Gatling documentation. Um, the advanced tutorial, where are we here? Uh, to go through the different options of checks. But um, let's move on and let's uh, let's uh, store that value now. So do exactly the same as in the example here. Let's save the, the reference as a an attribute that we can use later. So we'll jump back in the script and we say think save as and the parameter name, yes. And we're going to call it a uh, first article, for example. Yeah. So now that should store it. Now we need to then obviously use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that block. Um, so we just reuse essentially this setup that we have here. Um, create a duplicate right so we got our PPC landing page is getting slash uh, news and then it selects a value of that uh, value of from that content of that document and then we say right okay so after that we're gonna go and request 
request that first article. So let's rename the, the request the first article. Right, and let's, first of all, let, let's get rid of this uh, check for now because we don't need to check for the same thing again. Now, so how do you reuse that uh, um, uh, par parameter that we just saved? So the way it works is uh, like like uh, in, in Java templating or string templating, uh, it's just um, a dollar sign with the curly braces and your attribute name. So basically we should be able to just add first article and that should now get the URL that we picked up from here. And by the way, we have to fix that, otherwise nothing will work. Um, and we don't need to put any um, additional slashes here or remove any slashes because I think the, the format of that is, yes, is slash news anyway. So that is fine. Right. Okay. So one thing I need to add here, here probably is add a bit of think time in between the two requests. So if I'm a user, I would not call the first um, the landing page and immediately click the, the first article. I'll probably have a little, little look at what do I want to read. And so the way the think time works in Gatling is, uh, is pause in seconds. So let's say we put, let's say, five seconds for argument's sake here. So basically what should happen now is we go to the landing page, pick the first article, wait five seconds, and then we select, we go to the f first article. So let's, um, excuse me, let's save that. And let's rerun it. Okay, there we go, that's the right list here. Let's go for that one. Okay, so in the report says BBC News landing page uh, followed by the uh, first article. So let's look at the, the actual report. Should get now two requests. So number of requests, two, both successful. And here we can see BBC landing page, BBC first article. Um, Often in other tools, for example, Load Runner, you have to be very careful about the naming of these uh, um, um, transactions, if you wish, that they appear in the right order. In Gatling, they appear in the order they, that, that they are in the script. So uh, you don't have to necessarily number them. You might want to number them uh, in a logical way, just if you have very complex scenarios. But, but anyways, you have now the, the two requests and active users number one, active users are one. And here's, we did one request at 11.06.32 and five seconds later, we did another request. Um, so uh, that's it for, for this aspect. I will go in a bit more detail about parameters in the next part of the tutorial.